Hello, friends, family, random strangers, dogs, cats, chickens. Um, I'm here um, in Kyunyum at the house with some kids that live around here, and I'm just going to tell you about what I've been doing in the past couple of days. Today is Sunday morning, and we just arrived at church. We are actually meeting in this building, a little hut, until the main church is built, which is actually what we're going to be working on this week, is finishing this. And I really hope that they put super big windows on the back because the view outside of this is so gorgeous. So after church, we went to a restaurant in town, and I have been looking for cats here since I got here, and I finally found one, so I picked it up, and I gave it some of my food, and she was so chill and cute and cuddly, and she just wanted to be held and loved, and um, yeah, I'm really excited that I found a cat. There's so many dogs. There's so many dogs just wandering around, but I finally found a cat. So there are also a lot of really cool bugs and animals and plants around here. I saw a snail, so that was kind of cool. Um, the butterflies here are so gorgeous, and so are the flowers. There are just a lot of really exotic plants that I've never ever seen, as well as the fruits. The fruits here are absolutely delicious. So for dinner, we ate at the family of our host, who just live in town here. They live in some pretty small huts, as you can see, but they all came together and made us a huge meal, and it was really delicious. I'm just constantly amazed by just the simple way that these people live, and they don't have that much, but their lives are so full. Um, another really cool thing that happened on Sunday was that we went to church at our host church, and they're all Hmong, so they don't really speak English. Um, but we were worshiping together, and we were singing the same melody, but in two different languages, so you would hear English and Hmong being sung at the same time. And it was just so cool to see that like we worship the same God, but in two different languages, and we're coming together as one and worshiping him together. I just thought that was so awesome. Um, and the other thing that I learned is that um, when we started working on the church, they were kind of talking about the plans that they have for the church and um, just some of the things that they're going to do when it's done. And one of the things that I learned was that um, on this huge plot of land that they have, they're going to make a whole bunch of little houses where they can house and feed the homeless, which I didn't know until I got here. So I just thought that was so incredible. And I don't know, just everything that they're doing here is, I, <laughs> I'm at a loss for words. It's just so awesome to see what God has been doing here um, in the hill country in Thailand. Um, the more I learn about it, the more I'm just blown away by what God is doing. Um, another thing that I learned is that my host, Sampet, and his family were the first Christian family in this area. Um, after some missionaries came many decades ago, um, and they were really heavily persecuted at first, but, um, and they actually lived in that village that I visited the other day at, um, New Panu. Um, but after a while, after many years, um, that that whole village actually accepted Christ because of 
my host, Sampat, and his family. And now he's living here in Kunyuam. And there have been many, many families that, because of his work here, have um, accepted Christ. So I just think that is so cool that we get to be a part of that and um, reaching the Hmong people here in the hill country in northern Thailand. So um, that has been my past couple days. Um, we started building the church and like a rock wall and stuff. Um, we actually found out that the kids won't be back from their Christmas celebration until Wednesday, which is a little disappointing because after that we only have a few days with them before we leave. So it was disappointing, but we have more time to work on the church and, and build. So I guess just be praying for our interactions with the kids and everything. Um, so yeah, that's been the past couple days. It's been really great. And I'll see you in a little bit. Bye.